Welcome back everyone. Here we are for installment number three of playing Alan Wake during spooky season. And if you guys don't remember what happened last time, either go back and watch that other video or stay tuned for the uh, recap. So, sit back, get comfortable, grab your favorite beverage while you're at it, and let's get to it. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote. I understand that. Before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Oh. Now we're about How to get the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while Why I was thinking around. Why is his head cocked like that? Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Oh. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is Bustle. crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Reach the checkpoint. I'm a god fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Good yeah, man. okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Hmm. You guys remember Thomas Zane? Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. <laughs> Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, did you guys oh. see that a second ago? Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? I forgot about that part. 
I felt nauseous, hungover. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm running faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. You're right. I deserve more money. I'm I just... so handsome. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. But you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Matrix bullet time right there. Well, I, I'm standing right here, you maniac. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. See the lights at the radio station in the distance. Broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Um, or something. Well, at least we got a flashlight. No weapon of any sort. I was about to say, I was like, I don't know what the game expects us to do if we don't have, like, a flashlight or a weapon of sorts. So, yeah. It took me a moment to recognize the flashback weapons. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Come in. Over. Try to use these sparingly. I see one. Oh, jeez.
What's on your mind, Mill? Just up the way here. Just saying, there's got to be a gate. Whew. Boy, Florida. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Negative, sir. This is not why I'm here. <laughs> he keeps using different famous authors. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. How that guy got to be an SBI agent is beyond me. He's just a loose cannon like that, you know? I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, H.P. Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Pick up the flare, by golly. Okay, I got a gun now. Jeez. Those footsteps behind me freak me out. Go. Never good when the game gives you a bunch of ammo and Hello? stuff. The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. 
Alice, I'm here. Whoa, that's spooky. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. She I tried could to see call a railway you. bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Not today, Satan. Don't last very long. What's that? What's that about Energizer? They just keep going and going. They, they sure as hell don't. Holy crap! How the hell do I get through? One battery out of that? Come on. Oh, stop it! I forgot about that big truck. Or bulldozer, rather.
I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. You and me both. The coal mine wasn't far now. So keep going. Are there really places like this Today, in the U.S. where it's just and super nice. mountainous, but yet there's like a drowning places a around straw. like the mountain peaks and on the, like cliffs and stuff? I've never known a place like this. Why did I get out? Why don't I just stay in the, the darn truck? I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. I didn't want to go outside. The cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. You've been up for like two or three days straight, too, it seems. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill it! I had to get to Mirror Peak. Why he keeps changing the thing up? Reload. That battery sucks. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, that's some horse. Jurassic Park, the very beginning. Frickin' 
washing machine. Or whatever the heck the thing was. What the hell? It's like a darkness twister or something. find a way to avoid electrocution. Let's go! Away. it want with me I'm a low-life writer nobody reads my stuff except for that one rose girl there it is holy mother of mercy thing oh gosh holy smokes there's so many of them
How come some are fast and some are not? It actually scared me. I didn't know. Oh. Well, here I am. out of here. I am done with this. How long have we been awake? Quite some time, I would imagine. Don't start with me, birds. I think I just did that in my pants. Holy moly. Don't tell me I gotta go downstairs. I miss you, Tom. Tom, Tom. You guys remember that? some of that, boys. Holy crap, where the f*** did you come from?
Let's not do that again, please. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Hey, you. Wait. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. What? Uh oh. Smart. You're smart to grab that flare. Have it, folks. That is the end of episode three. Um, it's it's getting more and more intense uh, each each level or each each episode that we do. Um, so, what do you guys think? You guys are enjoying it? Uh, let me know what you guys think, and if you guys have any ideas of what's going on. Um, stay tuned for episode four coming real soon. Catch you all in the next one.